Bradley Metrock, CEO of Project Voice, This Week in Voice Daily, Wednesday, July 28th, another video today. I'm going to be talking about a new piece of news that's come out that VoiceBot has a story on. Uh, some others do as well, but I'm going to link to the VoiceBot article on it. New Samsung Smart Fridge comes built with Alexa. <laughs> These stories always intrigue me. They kind of make me laugh, not out of ridicule, just sort of out, out of amazement. So with voice, we've seen for years that uh, the people in this industry who were working with the technology rather, whether they're in no matter what line of work that they're in, what vertical, uh, the people who are doing work with this technology generally have an open mind to partnership and collaboration, and it's an open community. And uh, that's been one of the hallmarks of it uh, until now, with rare exception, of course. And, um, you know, we've seen sound bars, uh, even three, four years ago, uh, sound bars that had Alexa and Google Assistant built in. Uh, when Cortana was around, we saw some stuff that had Cortana, as well as either Alexa or Google, um, on the same device. And um, it's been fascinating because you do not see this in other areas of technology. I've been a gamer for a long time. Microsoft would die before they put PlayStation Network and anything from Sony on the Xbox, vice versa. The Japanese would never, ever put Xbox Live on a PlayStation. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they want to lock down the ecosystem and control all of that ancillary revenue flowing out of the device and from the users. So here we are in the internet of things kind of landscape here, smart devices, and we see Samsung with smart fridge, also Samsung with Samsung Bixby, their voice assistant, being willing to integrate Alexa in not just a minor way, in a very prominent and leading way into this new device. I think it's um, it's borderline incredible is what it is. Uh, we, we, you do not see stuff like this in other areas of technology. I'm gonna read the, uh, the money quote out of the article. Samsung's sixth generation family hub, now with Alexa built in, is more than a refrigerator. It lets you do things like control your Samsung smart appliances and devices, stream music, mirror your TV, that's cool, share pictures, search recipes, order groceries, and so much more, all from your fridge, Samsung explained in a press release. Here you go, family hub with Alexa built in, allows you to access hundreds of thousands of Alexa skills, listen to your morning brief, set timers or alarms, stream Amazon music, and shop via voice, all from your fridge. You can choose whether to interact with Alexa or Samsung's voice assistant, Bixby. Uh, nice that you had to call it out by name because people, you, know, you, you know the truth, people may not know, or even use them simultaneously. Wow. So Samsung is explaining to you that Alexa's built in, and here's all the things you can do with Alexa. And Alexa has every bit of equal footing, if not greater footing, on the same device, on, on Samsung's own device. And um, it's worth sort of just sitting there a minute and thinking about what this means. It means a couple of things. First of all, it means Amazon, if you thought that Amazon was falling off or uh, Alexa was in decline somehow, boy, are you wrong about that? Number one, 
uh, to be on a Samsung device, uh, no, you're dominant. Um, you're so dominant that Samsung feels compelled to put you on a device alongside their own voice assistant, which they have been slandered in the press over and has spent a long time working on getting caught up with an incredible investment. They're putting Alexa alongside it. That's how dominant they are. The, the second thing is if you're, if you're Google or Microsoft or another big tech company, um, I don't, I'm not sure if this is good or bad for you. I, I you know, it, it's, it's not you that's on the device, but it continues that precedent that you can hold up to other companies and organizations that, hey, look, we're partnering together. Uh, there's examples and great anecdotes of partnership throughout the landscape. And yeah, maybe Amazon's partnering with Samsung here, but Google can just as easily partner with somebody else and hold this up as an example of what a good partnership looks like. I, I struggle to find any negatives from this whatsoever. Um, I'm fascinated by it. And um, I'm excited to see perhaps what some of the differences are now than from what they were a few years ago when we start, started to see some of these things as well. And the integration wasn't nearly as good because it was also nascent. Um, this, this will be uh, opening a door that uh, it'll be fun to look in. Uh, certainly worth covering here. For This Week in Voice Daily, thank you for watching. Until next time.